So today, uh, our training topic is about the info to go and set up and develop how to de how to do the deployment. So today we will got four agenda. The first one we will do the how to set up the info to go. Okay. So before you start the setup, you have to make sure you have to submit the PO to our smart admin before you do the deployment. And then submit the info to go registration form after you do the deployment. Okay. So first you have to download the sock this one installer at our fetish this one uh, you support so here you can click it then you we will you can go to the our you support there to to get the installer then after you get the installer but you have to make sure you if every time you you install you have to make sure you install the latest one up because uh this one we will keep update but this one before you you, you do the installation for this one uh info to go set up then you have to make sure you get the latest one up because uh at the moment we got the latest we got the latest in installer at our e support there so you have to make sure the the installer you get is the latest one up. Okay, so after you download the installer, you will get this one uh, at your PC. Then you click, double click the installer, then you will see this screen now. After you get this screen, then you just click install. After you install, you will see a uh, folder at our smart app, call it a smart mobile socket at here then you have to run the script before you do the deployment so here you get the script here so hit the script you have to make sure uh if let's say you got uh how if you got few database have to log in the info to go then you have to make sure every database you you got run the script well. If just one database only, then you just select the database to, to, to run the script only. Okay. After that, you go back to the this path here, directory here, then you click the RO servers UI ESE. <clears throat> then here you set the setting, change the database to the your use your the user database and then click install but here you have to make sure the port number is uh is it the port number you want to set uh, but default is a uh, 8090 if you want to change you can change it and then the sql server instant name you have to make sure the instant name is it smart if if you install that one not smart maybe sql express then you have to change it to SQL Express or another instant name. And then, so if you have the multiple database, you have to make sure every database run the script ID. Then uh, here, just to insert, you just have to key in one database on it. Then maybe uh, you find a master data to, to, to set the database name on here. So here just only uh, one data on it. Even you got multiple database, here you just insert one enough for enough for it. Maybe uh they got a few subsidiary company, then the subsidiary company no need to insert, you just key in the parent company or master data to here only. Okay. After that, after just now you click the install here, then you will see the socket install success after you set all the thing okay then after you set all the just another thing then you have to set the port for thing for 8090 right at your router and then here the route if let's say you got set the domain name you also have to make sure uh router there to set up 
but not compulsory to set at the router. Some maybe they install the uh, device, the, the DDNS, the, the updated, then maybe they use that one also can, depends on the user. Okay. So here, if let's say you use the host name or some of the people they use the public IP, then they just follow their, your, your use, uh, always use the whale. If let's say you got put the host name, the domain name, then you have to set at the router there. Okay, next, have to make sure your window firewall or the MD virus to do the assumption for the port 8090 access. For example, if let's say uh if let's say you you don't want to set this one, actually usually most of the user maybe they're off the antivirus then to to disable the antivirus directly. Or if you don't want to disable the antivirus, maybe you can choose this way to do the advanced setting. Here you set the empower rule and then you create a new rule. At here, you just set the port and then click next. You select the TCP and then you put the specific local port for 8090. If let's say you, 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 your port forwarding port is 8090. If let's say others, then you set others. Then you click next. Then allow the connection. Next. Until the end, you put the name up 8090 info to go. Then you will see here eight zero nine zero info to go at here so if let's say you've got MD virus but MD virus depends which brand you use up if let's say you use the brand like bit defender or the capacity then you have to make sure uh this part is can access up if let's say you put the port is nine eight zero nine zero okay so this is the setup we need how to set the floor lah. So that means before you start to do the setup you get the installer then you have to 10 step to do the setting as just now i show you so after you've done all the setting the next one what have to take note lah, when you implement the info to go so we we will try to give you the checklist to to double check again after you've done the setting. Then here, as just now I said, have to run the script for every dynamo lah, if the user need to use the info to go. And then make sure the instant name, as just now I said, if let's say uh, the use, you you not install the instant name is a smart, maybe you got others instant name is a SQL Express or smart uh, 2000, Two zero one two or two zero zero eight like that. Then maybe you 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 just follow to change the instant name. Then you have to make sure the company ID. Cause uh, our default Dynamo company ID is HQ for the company set up there. If let's say you got create another company ID is uh HQ two or HQ three, then you have to make sure you provide the company ID is correct. And then the pot, the pot also have to make sure. And then make sure the block, the pot is not blocking by antivirus or firewall. And then make sure the host name and port 14 can be accessed from outside. So this is the checklist. And then here you can try a simple test by browser there. You put your host name, for example, this, this host name I set, then you slash JSON on your phone browser or the, in your PC browser there, try to check if it can see the setting like this one or not. If let's say you can see this one means you, you already successful to do the setting already. Okay, and then have to make sure the port is open for the remote address and the port number is open okay and then after you set up just now the thing already then you can try to open the run here you type in the service.msc you try to check this one smart business to go is it 
got running or not. Sometimes uh, maybe not running, then you just keep it running on here. You, you enable it. And then here's maybe sometime might cause the issue for the IPv6. So if let's say uh, when you ping the host name on CMD and it return IPv6 address, you can disable this, you can uncheck this. Okay, so at last, here you have to make sure you submit the form to, to our admin. Cause our admin there uh, will verify and give you the approval. And then the user, they will, admin will return the email for you and the password provided. So here we got the form you can create it later. So now we got a new form. Uh, you just key in the company name, the contact person, the administrator email, host name, and then just now mention the company ID. If let's say default is HQ, then you just put back HQ on here. Or the port is different, not 8090, then you, you put 8091 or 8092 like that. And then you give the database name. Database name, if can you put the name is uh, your Dynamo, the database name, make sure it's correct. And then the user email you provide that one. Is it, uh, is it uh, which one user want to link? If let's say here, got, uh, you, you got insert two database, so here, then make sure the user is it can link to that two database or if let's say that one two database then you just click you just click here and then here you have to make sure the date submission okay here we've got uh, some information so here you take note okay so here the, if let's say the mss your sql server there got put the as that not smart then you have to mention uh, if let's say it's uh, using the SQL Express, then you have to specify to here SQL Express. So this is the form. You have to reply if you have to send to our admin there to wait the verify and give the approval code approval for you. Okay. So the next, how we use the info to go. So now we try to set up by this screen, then maybe uh, next time you, if a user that you want to download, then you can scan it to download. Lah. Okay, we now got the Google Play for Android, App Store for the iPhone. We also got the Huawei app gallery there to enable to download this also. Okay, or you can try to if let's say after you get the approval code, you want to test. If let's say you don't want to you uh, download the apps to to test it to log in, maybe you can try to access this link. This link also same as the apps there. You can key in the user code. If let's say the just now apply the form, the email already uh, get approval then you can try to test to log in and then the password to log in also. Okay, here, actually based on the screen here, we can, you can try to use the demo to log in to show your date to your uh, potential customer. If let's say they got used the demo before, but uh, they not yet to install the info to go. Cause a uh, demo, we got already one set data is inside to, to to get the sample for your customer to see how we use the data, how you how to use the info to go. If let's say for the live user, they, after you get the approval to to log, to log in, the user could actually is the email user register email, and then you always we return the password is a for you default is a one two three four five six. Okay. So in, in later, I will show you how to change the password if let's say the user want to change the password. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so this is the app. If let's say you want to log in, then you can try to go to demo there. <laughs> okay, always you log in. Always log in here, you will get this one screen. Then you can, this one uh, here that actually uh, simply to brief you how to use the things. Then you can skip here if there's a one. <clears throat> okay. Here you will see the data. Okay. The data, if let's say here, you can click to see today's sales. And then yesterday's sales also can get. Okay. Yesterday's sales, if let's say here, you can see cash. And then here you can see the details, the service charge, same as the, actually this one is same as the EOD report, the post EOD report of like the for cash sales. Okay. And then here you can see the month to date. So once you click the month to the, the location here, you can see if once you click the outlet, you can get the sales by daily. If let's say month to date. If let's say uh, year to date, you can click here, then you can see the sales by monthly. And then you can set the range by range. Okay, here I know top level. Okay, actually here, every every figure here, you actually can click to into access to see. And then here you can see the invoice. Actually, if let's say you want to filter by the salesman, also can get by the salesman, also able to see. And then if let's say here also same, you can filter by the salesman to see the sales by the salesman. And then okay, you can see the sales by last month, how much the sales. Okay. And then here you can see the total sales. Total sales here, you can see the sales, uh, cash sales combine the invoice to be the total sales. And then here you can see the favorite bank account. And then the debtor aging here, you also can see, and then PNL. So the sales charge by all the person, all the sales person, or you can filter by the sales person here. And then you can see it's under invoice or under cash sales. And then here you also can filter by the top 10 product by quantity or top 10 product by amount. Okay. So here, if I say top 10 by quantity means the, the spot selling the most quantity is the uh, which, which product. And then the sales amount is the top one. Then here we show the top sales amount. Okay. And then you can see the top 10 for customer here also can filter by the, the salesman to get the sales. If let's say you want to see uh, yesterday only, then also can see the yesterday sales. <clears throat> so here we got the latest, is the top 20 product category. Here you can see the top 20 product category. This is the new one, last time is the top 10 only. Now we got the top 20 product category. And then here you can go to the, if let's say just now this screen is the dashboard, then we can see this one is the dashboard here. And then sales, sales actually is same as just now the dashboard, the outside, this screen sales. You can, here we got the, if they say uh, they don't want to see at the dashboard there, then you can from here also can, you can select, you can check only cash sales or cash sales and invoice together also can. Then you can see the today, yesterday or last day. Then you can see the, all the sales figure here. And then the inventory, inventory here, uh, you can see the, current existing the product item and the balance stock for your outlet. If let's say you can see, you want to see this one, the product, the two unit at the balance stock, two unit is under which 
uh, outlet, then you can see total quantity here. You can see this one is under which outlet the, the stock and then the price details here we can see then you also can see the photo if let's say you could put the photo there and then if let's say you don't want to click so many times that actually you click the balance the balance if let's say you just click the balance here then you can see only the balance if let's say you want to see more detail the product you can click the product the description product description there then you can see the details information here so actually the all the things once you set at the dynamo actually will sync to here then you can see all the info at here and then the cup file we also can see the cup file if let's say here okay just now the inventory also sent you, you click b you can see the all the cap all from start from B1. If they said you put E, then all the customers start from E1. Okay, if they said one, you can close. Actually, here you can search by name. If they say you want to search by power. Okay, all, all the name it got power it will show up. So you can filter by customer or supplier or both also can. Both mean uh, they also supplier also customer show at the listing here. And then just now the inventory actually here. <clears throat> you can search by description or barcode or category or you can search from here. So maybe you put uh, the maybe be microphone micro then you can search here you will get it the data of if let's say all the data got micro the name it will show here okay cash book you can see the cash book also can get from here and then the PL PL you can buy this month last month or this year only you can view and then you click detail to see and then you can see all the detail from here and then my preference this one preference you can set the widget which we want to show or don't want to show at the dashboard and then the finance there the top three at just now the uh dashboard there you got see the top three uh cash the bank account actually it's from here okay maybe i show you okay so just now the this one favorite bank account actually is set at just now the preference there okay and then what you want to show or the one to show at the this screen also can set at the preference there. Okay, maybe the light got some issue. Okay, never mind. Actually, this one also can set from here. Just now, the preference here. Actually, this icon also is the preference. Here, it also can set the which the widget which one you want to on or which one you to off you can set from here after you select then you can click the set default then every time login here only will show you can say you set only cash sales invoice and total sales this one then it will show only the three item only okay. so just now the preference okay here you can see just now uh as i said maybe you don't want to see the capital aging p l Okay, this one top 10 you don't want to show then you can set maybe the bank you don't want to show then you can set default okay after that you try to log out and log in again so here will be show only the things you set on it so here you cannot see the top 10 or top 20 category that one already so this is what you set and what you see on it okay 
So my profile here, you also can change. If let's say you want to change the e, uh, you want to change the email, then or you want to change the password, also can change from here. You set the old password and new password, and then confirm the password. After you change all the thing, then you click this icon to update. And then here you can see the user setup. If this, this one only we can set by the administrator email only. Uh. That means if let's say the form just now here, you got the user who is the administrator email to fill in to here. The administrator email only can view just now. Uh, now this this thing only to set up they can set the actually here they can set the access right what they can access what they cannot access and then if let's say they got uh if let's say the user they got a new outlet after they create at the dynamo already but here didn't show the new if let's say info to go here never see never show the new outlet maybe they can they can come here to check is it got check the new outlet or not if let's say no then you just take here then it will show after that you update it so this is the icon to select the location this icon to select the access right what they can access and then not access and then here also can change the password that means uh, the administrator user they also can change the user password if let's say they don't want to uh, maybe they, they got the staff because here we can set the staff uh, is it for salesperson or the store manager only then they can change it but here is the type money but you have to access you have also to change the access what they can access uh. okay. so far here is it okay so here only to show you about the setting for this one okay, dashboard here so far here okay so here if let's say they're unchecked then you can select all to set default then next time to log in they will show out show up all the thing again if let's say they want to show back all the things so actually uh this app is it's quite simple lah. just actually uh, our site also never uh, our smart after we register for the user usually they, they try to pay themselves then any question they will ask that to us then we will find up to them actually they, this this one actually is uh, we, we quite less to train to use that cost this one for them unless the user they don't know how to use only we will provide the training as well up but for them mostly they only to this one uh cost here only for them to view the sales amount and then the aging for them and then can check the stock balance so that means here only can view the report the the report only and then here if let's say the user they got uh as just now mentioned, they, if let's say they got multiple database, they can select the database to access from here by this icon. If let's say they got another database, then they can set the another way, the another database to, to select here. To then to click connect, then you will see that one is under the data which database. So this is the set workflow. Okay, we come back to this one. So here already to show how to use already. So maybe later that you, you all then can try to uh, to play around. If let's say you want to play around, maybe you can try to log in just now. Uh, you can use this demo. Actually a quick demo. Here will be showed all the demo data here. You can play around get some of the maybe you got the potential customer then you can show them uh, how what they can see on this app and then uh the you can see the figure 
for the sales, the top sale for uh, sales chart, and then the top 10 product, top 10, top 20 category, and top 10 salesperson customer also can show here. Okay. So here I got put some of the FAQ. La. You, so uh, what our customer will ask one. So as just now I got mentioned, if let's say they got a new outlet, but the info to go never show the outlet after they, they create the outlet, uh, outlet location at the dynamo, then maybe you can try to here, you click the, this icon and then you click the user setup, you select the user and then click this icon, you will get for this one, if let's say this is the new outlet, then you can take, and then after you select, have to click this uh, icon to update. Then you will see update successfully as this screen. And then here, uh, if let's say you want to control the access right, but this one only for the administrator email only. Uh. Okay, that means the user who submit uh, got insert the administrator email at this field, then the user only can come to this screen to do the setup to set the user access right. For example, here you just the user then come to this tab here and then click the user setup, select the user. If let's say they got few users, then uh, have to click which user and then you click this icon, you will see this one, what they can access, what they cannot access, you can uh, control here, and then click this icon to update. That means uh, here you can update there. Okay. If let's say a uh, user want to change the password for the this one info to go apps, then you can go to my profile here, Click this uh, lock icon. You insert the old password and then key in the new password with the confirm password. Actually, new and confirm password is same. Not have to. Then click this icon to update. Then we show password change successfully. Okay. If let's say the user forget the password to access, but have they have to remember their user code or email lah. Then click the forget password here. Then key in their user code and email. Actually, user code and email is the same now. And then you click proceed. Here you can see the login detail sent to your email there. Then you go to your email there. You can check the password. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. If let's say the password, then you can see. Actually, this one is the not reset password. This one is a password which they set uh, on the, the, the last setting they set before. So this, this is a password they set, not the reset password I have to take note. If let's say here still cannot log in, then maybe you can try to call back to us. Okay. So last, if the, some of the info like maybe or change the new server, then you try to reinstall the SQL server. If let's say you try to reinstall or you got, maybe the instant name, you install the SQL server got problem. Maybe some of you got create another instant name. Then if let's say got any changes for the instant name, you also have to let us know. You have to contact the smart admin there to update. For example, like this one, maybe before it's a smart, instant name but maybe after reinstall the new one maybe you put smart 2016 or you change to sql express so you have to take note of if let's say the instant name is different or the or change then you have to contact us to update if can actually it's contact smart i mean to update up for because if let's say got any changing okay and then the last one Maybe the host name also got changed because maybe uh, some of the user they don't, don't have by the, the, uh, the host name, the DNS. 
maybe they use the free one like the DDNS, that one. So maybe uh, after 30 days, they no update, then cannot access already. Then they change the another new one. So have to make sure the host name, each, uh, if let's say to change the host name already, then you have to mention to us also. We also need to update. But before you change this, you have to, if let's say you got set the DN, dynamic DNS at the router there, you also have to make sure you, you, you got change. Oh. If let's say no, you no change, then you let us know, uh, let the admin know you change already, but also can access up. So maybe you try to confirm again before you, you change it. Oh. So this is the setting have to take note. Okay, so here I got put a link here. Maybe uh, if let's say you want to check the latest update for our e uh, for our this one info to go product installer, then you can come to here. Cause uh, this one actually before uh our cause before that the installer actually is not like that lah. Cause uh, our our site got changed some of the setting for the installer. It will be more easier for you to install. Then we we will you can try to come to this link here to get the latest uh latest installer. So you can come to here to get the latest installer. Here we put the attacher. You just click it to download. So this uh, installer is updated until 2020 April, April 23. So this one is the latest one. Uh. So if let's say uh, you, we, before next time you, you install, maybe you can try to come back to here. Is it got latest installer or not? So this is the, here also got show you the step as well. If let's say latest, if later you don't have get the, this one, uh, this slide, maybe you can come to here to view. Actually, uh, here we got all the information here for the info to go. Actually, the installer we enhance here also got show the step what you want to do for the first, second, you do what, third, you do what. Here already clear to let you know step by step to do what already. So actually, if let's say you follow this step to do, actually uh not not the issue idea. It's quite simple for yourself already to do the same thing. So this is the today our info to go set up and deployment training. So thanks everyone.